Damn. Maybe you drop my gun. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Why did that shit go so high? Double arrow! Single arrow! I wonder what happens if I hit this dude in the face with a fire arrow. with a bomb on him. What, bitch? You will... Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. That dude Get fucking me. snuck me. You have to find Gaia. That music was intense and that shit. I'll tuck that away. Is that it? We're supposed to go up or some shit? Alright. Let's go through the big doors. But not without one of these. Hello. What the fuck? Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Guy will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. 
Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not to build... Now this thing is dangerous. Scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a... I'm sorry I cut her off for her voice actor. She was like, um, like... We're here to build robots, so I like I I completely zoned out. I don't give a fuck. I don't really care. Can't scan through that window. All right. Let's see how it is. You win today, window. Give them, give them shards. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. Oh, this way? More eclipse. Careful now. It's alright. We'll just label them all. And then I'll fucking go in and just like. Blah, 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 blah. This guns for right Rambo style. Oops. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. I should have brought that fire starter with me. That fire starter is way freaking more OP. Where the fuck am I going? memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and culture. Hold up. Isolated DLA, DLA, DNA, not that. Achievement. Apollo is, therefore, My turn. the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million I want to see if the rest entries. of the world got terraformed. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. Crazy. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and unified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo. Apollo update, hold up. For benefit of procedures, a, co a copy of the Homer archive for Zenith has. Schedule. So they were like raising the children that trusted the AIs. Interesting. Learning modules. Leveling up their knowledge and skills, they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of us. Y'all didn't see your shit. Who knows what
Come on, who wants to go? Guns. Sounds like a fucking cap gun. I'm keeping an eye out for my fucking battery. My last power song. Shit. Alright, let's go up. Archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. <laughs> A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, it's a maze. was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please know that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Hades Protocol, hold up. Hades Protocol. T here, just pop three blue. What? You playing Destiny? He popped three blues? Uh, but I earned it. Finally figured out that Goldilocks solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority it ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time. What is? For this, every protocol is designed and failed in simulation because it's either too hard or too soft. Too hard. Degraded guy out of his core. Wait. So Hades could take control, but by breaking your fingers. Sometimes her arms too, so they can fly. It depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done its business. So I had to find the solution. Can you make Gaia any worse for where? So it's Gaia relinquishes control to Hades? Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos. 
Skinny top that won't stop wobbling. Can't stop and listen to this shit. Let's do? go. Release phase one organisms into that hot mess. Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started. Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. The Hades balance takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then that's the problem. Is now they're then, aiming for the perfect. Back to Gaia and say, Ain't shit perfect. Try again, old girl. Humans and got in the way, time, and Hades came back to, this to wipe it back to zero. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand, death on speed dial, all for the greater good. Of course, I like how he's saying all this shit. And still, he doesn't fucking realize how crazy that actually so is. Welcome to Hades. Almost. Welcome to the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more. It's, looks like the only way onwards. There's a soul bag. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Prochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. So this is the, the snapshot of human genetic diversity. The human generic part. The genetic part. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, Maybe. our activities and initiatives will comply mm -hmm. with the 2034 clean mm -hmm. provisions and the 2048 rally and calls. Now that Everybody's talking. Even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them. There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. There's a lot of shit. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Us would benefit from antelopony morphologies. Though campered forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction Event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I not functioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. 
It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see what we I'm just listening now. This is cool. I'm really into this story right now. Are you all right? I hope y'all. I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. Before I go in there though, there's other shit out here, right? Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think oh, you God. mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Alright, time to go in. Hopefully the fucking, uh, power shit is in here. Odyssey has failed? That Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, the military indicated that the clinic was probably an antimatter containment failure. What? Crazy. Shit's real. The fuck? Oh, do I have to be on this side? The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Yeah, but once you access it, can it access it? Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had yeah. a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? To do this shit. Fucking hell. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable.
Yo, what up, bro? That's a big... That, that was a big-ass explosion. <laughs> 